What's up, Fuego fam? Welcome to this week's Extra Heat of the Week. This week is all about adding a little bit of extra core work into your workout week. So, we'll be leaving you through four different ab exercises here. Let's get right into it. Exercise number one, we got flutter kicks. We're going to lay it down on the mat. Hands can be out by your side or underneath your glutes. You're just going to lift your shoulder blades and your feet up off the floor. Now, the most important thing here is that your low back stays pressed down into the mat. And we're just going to alternate fluttering up and down. Here we go. We're going to start all together in three, in two, and in one. Just flutter up, down, up, down. Nice, steady pace to start. Just breathe through it. Now, again, making sure that low back is pressed down into the floor. If you're having trouble with that low back, go ahead and lift those feet up just a little bit and continue to flutter. Chin stays off the chest. We're looking up at the ceiling at a slightly diagonal angle. And breathe. Now, last 15 seconds of this round, we're going to pick up the pace. Double time it just to burn it out. For now, keep breathing, stay focused, stay in. Here we go. All together, we're going to speed up the pace in four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Flutter, flutter, flutter. Low back stays pressed, chin off the chest, and breathe. Nice. Good, keep it going. We're only here for five, four, three, two, and one. Rest it out, nice work. All right, exercise number two. Same position, but our knees come into 90 degrees. Hands can come out behind your head just to protect that neck. We're gonna alternate kicking out, down, up, in, out, down, up, in. Here we go, in three, two, one. Alternate, out, down, up, in, out, down, up, in. Now, just like exercise number one, we want to make sure that our knee, or that our low back is pressed down into the floor. Keep it going. At the 30 second mark, we're going to put both feet together, same motion, just at the same time. Here we go. Keep breathing. We will do both feet in four, three, two, and one. Kick it out, down. Up, in, out, down, up, in. Now check in with those knees. A lot of times we tend to bring those knees a lot closer than we need to. Make sure to only bring them in as far as that hip level. They want to be stacked directly above those hips and then kick back out, down, up, in. Good, keep it going, keep breathing. We're only here for five, for four, three, two, and one. Let it go, nice work. All right, you guys, for exercise number three, we're gonna go ahead and get into a spider plank hip dip. So we're gonna start in a forearm plank position and bring your legs out nice and wide. You're gonna drive your right knee into your chest and then add a little hip dip to the left. Switch it out and then switch sides. Let's get started in three, two, and in one. Again, so you go right, twist, and bring it center. Left, twist right, bring it center. Right, twist left, bring it center, good. Keeping your neck nice and low, making sure your hips are nice and stable as you pull and drop, lift, and bring it center. At the same time, opening up those hips with that little hip abduction here. Nice job, stay in it. Make sure those elbows are directly underneath those shoulders, keeping your neck nice and low. Good, 20 more seconds here. In, dip, center, and drop. In, dip, center, and drop. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let it go. Nice work, you guys. From here, we're gonna go right into exercise number four. You're gonna grab blocks or a bench or whatever feels good, I'm gonna put the blocks down laying on the floor. From here, I'm gonna put my feet elevated on the blocks, okay? Then we're gonna go into a high plank position and we're gonna go out into a modified plank jack. We have step, center, step, center. We begin in three, two, and one. Step, center, step, center. 
just like so, pulling the navel in, keeping those glutes nice and tight, shoulders directly over the wrist and neck nice and long. Constantly thinking about your foot placement here, constantly thinking about engaging and activating, turning on that core. Good work. Staying nice and strong through those fingertips. Soft bend in those elbows to not walk out the arms, right? So soft little bend. Good. Nice job. And if you wanted to make this a little bit more challenging, or if you had something more stable, I don't today, but if you have something more stable, then you can give me a regular plank jack here. You got 15 more seconds, stay in. Pull the navel in, keep the core nice and tight. Good, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let it go. Woo, nice work, you guys. All right, you guys, so that wraps it up for your core crusher. Feel free to repeat this exercise as many times as you need. And of course, feel free to reach out to us at fuego-fitness.com with any questions. Mommy and Papi, out.